Well, it's cold, hell is hot. Crossman in the law, call it jackpot. Never saw your soul, this is food for thought. Martyr for the Lord, he be juggernaut. The uh, Pentecost. These are the things that we were keeping, right? But not Easter. Bring out what you got, King. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of this of the world, and not after Christ. Right, all these things are not after Christ. It's the tradition of men. Right, give me the book of Mark chapter 7, verse 7. Right, these are the traditions of men. The apostles were not, was not celebrating Easter. The apostles were not commanding anybody to celebrate Easter. These things are not written in the law and to the testimony. The Most High gave us our feast days that we're supposed to keep. Those are found in Leviticus 23. Now, if the resurrection is something that we were supposed to celebrate, why don't we see the, uh, that being celebrated in the book of Acts? If anybody understood the resurrection, it would have been the apostles. They were right there with them, the ones that seen him. Right? Uh, drop that, hold that. Give me 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. These are the things that we have to ask ourselves. Where did the apostles tell us to celebrate Easter? What's happening, brothers? Right? Can I ask you a question? That brother's brother looking sharp. Can I ask you a question? Can you show the love of Christ? Can you show the love of Christ? Right? The love of Christ is, is, is something that people claim to have, right? But they don't want to have a conversation, right? About the same Bible that we're reading, right? Give me the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 3. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures, and that's the thing. We have to do things that's according to to the scriptures a lot of people lost that way to do things according to the scriptures give me that back in mark 7 right mark 7 to 7 we have to do things according to the scriptures to the law and to the testimony these things have to be echoed and reflect within the law and the testimony so why are we doing things that the law and the testimony never told us to do why are we creating traditions that christ was rebuking the pharisees for making the word of god of none effect these are the biblical errors, or these are the errors of the teachings of Christianity. That's the spirit of error that the Bible talks about. Let's bring that up. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, in verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Right, this is the commandments of men. The commandments of men, right? What we abide, what we observe is the commandments of God, not the commandments of men. Celebrating Easter is a commandment of men. Jesus never commanded anybody to do that. The apostles never told you to do that. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all these different prophets was not teaching to keep Easter. That is not a biblical holiday. The feast days of God is found in Leviticus 23. We don't see Easter listed there. We don't see Christ commanding anybody to keep the uh, Easter, quote unquote Easter. That's not what Jesus taught. The apostles didn't teach it. That's not what they were celebrating. They were celebrating the Passover. They were celebrating Pentecost. These are the things that, that, that was being taught. This is what was being observed, not Easter. Let's keep going on that, King. Right? For laying aside the commandment of God. And that's the thing. We are laying aside the commandment of God. That's very important that Christ said that. We are laying aside the commandment of God. We don't want to lay aside the commandment of God. We want to uphold the law. Like the Apostle Paul told us in the book of Romans. We have to uphold the law that was given to us, that was given, that was that, that came from God and given to Moses. Right? What's happening, sister? How you doing? Shalom, sis. Right? We have to do these things that's in accordance with the law and the prophets. Right? Go back where you was at, King. This read that again. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of God, right. ye hold the tradition of men. Ye hold what? The tradition of men. This is the tradition of men. This, the, the Easter was not passed down from God, right? Do you agree with that, brother? Was yeah, right. Easter is not something that God gave to Moses, correct? It's pagan. Ah, 
I'm glad you know. You got to tell everybody in the church that as well, man. Because you know a lot that most people don't. Right? That's what he said. It's pagan. Right? It's pagan. Now, don't get me wrong. The resurrection is something very powerful. We understand the resurrection is something that was historical. Right? We acknowledge it. Absolutely. Right? But the Most High God never said to celebrate that. He never said to make a commandment around it and then call it Easter. This is the tradition of men that the Bible's talking about that was, du that, was du uh, that was due to laying aside the commandment of God. Right? Let's read what you got, King. This is the book of St. John, chapter 5, verse 46. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Right. For he wrote of me. Uh -huh. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Right. You have to believe the writings of the law and the prophets. These things were not taught in the law and the prophets, man. In the book of Isaiah 53, we understand that he would have been crucified. He would have been sacrificed. But it doesn't say after he resurrects, you have to make Easter about it. That you make a commandment about it. That you make a tradition around it. That's not what God said. Go back to Matthew, uh, uh, Matthew 7. Right? That's not what God taught. So where do we see this in the Bible? Right? Where in the law and the prophets do we see that? Right? Where did Christ give the commandment to go out and teach every nation to keep a Easter? Where did he say that? Go out and teach every nation to keep Easter. Can the pastor show us that in the Bible? Is that written in the book of Matthew? Is it written in the book of John? Right? Is it written in the book of Luke? Right? What about the eggs? What does eggs have to do with Easter? Right? What is it, a bunny or a rabbit? Right, what does a bunny have to do with Easter? Easter Sunday. Where does Christ command us to do those things? Where does the apostles command us to do those things? These are the traditions of men that God is talking about. Read that again from the top, Matthew 7 and 9. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 9. Or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? This is, is Matthew 7 and 9 or was it Mark? Uh, Mark 7 and 9. Okay, right. Mark 7 and 9. This is the book of Mark chapter 7 in verse 9. Right. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own tradition. Right, that's a tradition. That's a tradition that God did not give to the people of God. He didn't give the tradition of Easter. God gave his commandments. Right? We find we find that in the law and the testimony. But where did Christ command us to celebrate Easter? To make a tradition around his resurrection. We acknowledge it. We understand it's very powerful what he did. But how does that align with Easter and what the world calls Easter? We create Easter as a holiday or a holy day that's not found in the Bible. You agree with that, brother? Brother in the blue shirt with the shoes in his hand? The dirty shoes? Right, with the shoes in your hand? Right? We might have to, we might have to turn up a little bit. Yeah. To... So give me that uh, again, Matthew, uh, Mark chapter 7, verse 9. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 9. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. And that's the problem with the church today. Y'all want to keep your own tradition, but nobody can tell me where Jesus Christ said to celebrate Easter. Right. There is no commandment that says to celebrate Easter. Right. I am waiting for somebody to use the words of Jesus Christ that tells me to celebrate Easter. Where did Jesus tell me to do that? Is it a commandment? Is that a new holy day? Where do I find that? Where do I find the Apostle Paul teaching these things? Why don't I see that in the book of Acts? We understand Acts 12 and 4, but that's talking about the Passover, brother. Let me ask you a question, King. Can you tell me where did Jesus tell us or command us to keep Easter or to, or, or to observe Easter? It's for you by philosophy or vain deceit. So, under, so let, that's beautiful, brother. So what is, uh, so when we, when people, because this is the thing, people come to Easter and say, oh, that's, I got to go to the church on Easter. Why do they do that? They're lost. They're lost, They're lost. right? But that's the thing. So why do we have so many people flooding the churches on Easter? We need to preach the lost. That's why you're here too. That's correct. But we have to preach what's biblical and what's biblically supported. Amen. So you agree Easter is not biblically supported, correct? Okay, I'll praise this, brother. So I, I, I know you go to church pretty much every Sunday, but this is the thing, King. As the children of God, we have to read the words of God. And if what we're doing does not align with the words of God, we then have to examine ourselves and say, okay, where are we getting this from? Is this a commandment of God or a tradition of men, like you said, King? 
right? Our praises, King. Appreciate your time, right? We have to wake up our people. The brother said it. This is philosophy and vain tradition, man. Right? Give me that. Uh, keep going on this. Verse 10. Give me verse 13. Verse 13. Making the word of God of none effect through your, tra through your tradition. Let's get it poppin', it's the prophet Zamar, L.O.Z. soldier, and yeah, Howard told me, wake up my people, it's almost over. In the synagogue of Satan been faking, we gon' expose him, so is iron rusted, so is his wickedness, they corroded. And John 3.16, the only verse these Christians quoting, I'm looking at him like, what the hell y'all been smoking?